Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we're going to show you how to motion track an element. Start by choosing something with some motion in it and I picked this little video of a girl hitting a volleyball. So first let's just watch what happens. Now you notice the ball goes off the screen so we can't track it past that. So we're going to start our tracking right there, right as the ball comes down and then we'll track it all the way to the end of the net. So the first thing we want to do is just mark our clip where we want to start. Flip the clip right there. Now all we got to do is pick our element. You want to put your element on the timeline before you start this, your motion tracking. I'll show you why in just a second. Uh, in the example you saw earlier, I used one of these super superhero cinematics. So we can put that around the ball if we want. Uh, we can have a word, bam, for example, follow the ball down the screen. Uh, but you kind of want something that's as long as the clip. If not, it won't be able to track it to the end. So we need something that's going to last for a couple seconds. So let's we'll go ahead and use this ball example. See, that's even longer than the clip. So that's what we want. So first thing you want to do is figure out your element. Now, obviously that's too big, so let's shrink our element down. Let's get it back to where the ball starts. Let's kind of line things up here. And we're going to take the element and slide it back because it's too small. We'll start it right about there. And let's just position it around the ball. Actually, we need to put this right at the beginning of the clip just for alignment purposes and scaling. That's not bad. Of course, it's going to get smaller as it goes away, so we'll just shrink it a little bit to start with. Let's just see what that looks like as far as the size of the ball versus the size. Okay. So I'm trying to find the maximum diameter of this element and then reduce it to the size of the ball. And once you get all this stuff prepped, the rest of this is pretty easy. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, don't worry about the position of the element right now. All right, let's cut the front part of that off so that when this starts, yeah, that's going to look pretty good. All right, all we got to do, guys, is simply click the clip below the one with the ball in it, and go to motion track. All right, this is your motion track box. So what we want to do is hide that element for a second. We don't want anything in the picture that doesn't need to be there. Now, sometimes this might take a couple tries to get it right. So don't think you're going to get this on the first try every time. Because things that get in the way, like this net, this other red dot here, things sometimes get in the way and you have to adjust the size of this square and it's very easy to adjust. So let's go ahead and we're going to click start tracking and it's going to attempt to follow that ball and it did very nicely so we're good there. Now you're just going to choose your element. Of course it's already on the screen. That's why we put it there first. Let's turn the track back on and we'll just watch it and see how it goes. It's pretty good, although obviously the size of the ball is too big. The size of the superhero thing is too big. But that's okay. I just wanted to show you how, how you do this. And um, jump back one frame, take that, cut it, get rid of that. And we'll watch it. So that's how you motion track an element with Filmora. Let's do it again. Delete that. Let's leave that there. Let's find a completely different element. Let's pick something from the, um, the lighting section. And we're going to choose electricity 2, uh, mostly because it's a really nice long clip. Let's just drag that down on top. Now, we do need to go down here to the bottom one and um, reset the motion track because we're going to put a new one on. Same as before. Let's choose the lightning. Bring it down 
So it's just emanating from the center of the ball. So we just re remember what we're doing right now. We're just scaling for size. And if you got snap on, you can turn it off or you can just use your keyboard up and down to move things around. So that's not bad. All right, once again, hide the clip, hide the element, highlight the box. We're gonna motion track it. Let's go back up to the ball. Squeeze this in a little bit. Okay, let's track it. Okay, so there you go. Now I noticed it fell off the track at the end. Let's watch that tracking. Right there, it fell off. So we'll only track it that far. Split that track. Highlight the other part and reset it. So basically we have no tracking on that one. So we're only going to track it that far. Okay, highlight the real one. Click on electricity 2. And it's done. See the lightning? And it follows it until we stopped it right there. Okay. Turn everything off. Come back. Put some music under there. Maybe a whacking sound right here. Whack. Okay. Uh, we got a. Remove the motion track off of that clip completely so you don't see the box. And I noticed the lightning started a little early. Well, I really kind of want the lightning to start when her hand hits it. So let's find where her hand hits it. We'll go frame by frame. That's good enough. Slide that over a little bit. There shouldn't be any lightning there now. And let's check it again. Boom. Split that off. Find some cool music to put underneath. And you got a really awesome video. Sound effects. Some lightning sound. Some uh, light. Electricity. Crackling sound effect. A whacking sound right there. A whooshing sound right here. And man, you can really turn this kind of a blah video into something. And that's it, guys. That is how you motion track elements in Filmora 11. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Click that like button, and we'll see you real soon.